I'm Simon Kershaw and this is my daily walk that's provided countless inspiration for film, photography and painting. As the lovely summer of 2014 rolled on, July into August, the fields have gone from green to gold, all the hedgerows have gone dark green, and everywhere you look, it's exactly the same. Golden fields, dark green hedges. And this year, it's this view that's prompted to paint this series of watercolours. Just try and capture the colours, the skies, the atmosphere, and this golden ground that's everywhere. The far distance is the Pennines. Almost like the Blue Mountains here. The tracks have gone backwards and forwards over that field, leaving tracks. First there was just two, and then over the weeks as they went backwards and forwards, gathering in the crop, more and more tracks. In a few months they'll plough up that field, be dark brown, dark brown through winter, And we'll return back to this foreground being overwhelmingly light green and you can barely see the hills but just for now they stand out I don't usually come as far as this, but one Saturday afternoon we went for a walk and came up this hill, it's lovely and sunny, and combined with the things I usually see, I thought, wow, this would make a lovely painting. And then perhaps a collection of paintings for August. And there's that view. Look at the stripes, it's a few weeks since I was here and the farmers have been busy and gathered up all the hay but the stripes are still there and it's still dark where the sun has bleached the exposed areas. That's not what I painted. I painted the lines of the hay waiting to be gathered up but it's still there. I'm 
trouble is, when you come back and film this, you realise there's all sorts of things that you've missed, all sorts of new subjects, and not enough time to paint it all. We'll see what we can do before we turn into autumn. The biggest problems of painting and working outside is not the distances you walk or the weather, it's locals wanting to engage you in conversation when you've only got an hour to do what you need to do. absolute favourite was when I was stopped by three very unlikely looking lads in a tattered old van who asked me, had I seen any rabbits round here? Uh, hmm. Come here at the right time pal, they're everywhere. Sometimes when you're driving along or out for a walk, you just catch a scene and you think, wow. And to me that's what painting's about just being able to capture that something special. Now a camera can do that quite well but a painting can do a far better job. Let's go show you the paintings. So here we are at the corner of the kitchen that we call the studio and the first thing I painted was this. I was more interested in painting the clouds and getting a feel for them and then I realised the fields were turning yellow and gold and then we had the uh, the walk up the hill that I've already showed you and I started painting these ACO format which is just a small collectible original artwork and they're just sketches just to get a feel for what's there, the composition, the colours here's another one Those lovely stripes in the field. And looking at the hedgerows. And then I've worked these up into larger A5 size paintings. Just capture more of it. And that view. Uh, this painting is a bit odd. Close up, it looks like it's unfinished, but when you get it uh, far away, it really does capture the view. And there's others that I'm working on now. So there you have it. Uh, the paintings are so far done on this subject.